Tonight at 11, a new push to end euthanasia right here in Georgia. One nonprofit organization says it wants to turn Georgia into a no-kill state by 2025, and here's why. Right now, Georgia is killing more shelter animals than nearly anywhere else in the country, euthanizing nearly 20,000 animals last year alone. Animal advocates tell 11 Alive's Caitlin Ross, the, the state right now is in crisis, but Georgia can look for solutions and learn what's working from neighboring states. Ducky, hey baby. The work never stops at animal shelters in Georgia. Good boy. The dogs and cats never stop coming in. There's some nights where you're, it's hard to sleep. You're just up at night thinking about all the animals. Come here. 12 dogs were surrendered to the shelter during our interview alone. And animal care manager Lauren Nemhard says they get as many as 30 a day in Fulton County. You have to just figure it out on the spot. But eventually, those numbers add up to heartbreak, and the shelter is forced to euthanize animals because they don't have the space to take them all in. It's hard. It... You wish there was, you know, a, a better outcome for them. Just devastating is like the best word I can use to describe it. You walk into the room feeling heavy. Weighed down by the deaths of animals that could be adopted. There's no way we can continue to go with euthanizing almost 20,000 animals annually just in the state of Georgia alone. We just can't do that. It's not humane. It's not right. It's not, it's just not the way it's supposed to be. And it's not that way in other states. Humane Society of Northeast Georgia CEO Allison Mayfield saw euthanasia numbers dropping in South Carolina and Florida. My first thought was, why don't we have one in Georgia? Why is nobody doing that in Georgia? So she decided to head up a statewide coalition to change that. Now Better Together Georgia is attacking the animal crisis in the state on all fronts. There's a lot of laws that have to change, and unfortunately some of those are county by county, and I believe we have 159 counties in the state of Georgia, and so that could be daunting. Seeing what's worked in other states, advocates are now working with Georgia's legislature to strengthen laws against backyard breeders and end breed restrictions but also bring the cost of veterinary care down. We have some counties where the lowest cost for a spay and neuter is $1,000 or higher, and so there are people that work in animal sheltering that can't even afford to get their own pets spayed and neutered. Better Together Georgia just rolled out a mobile vet clinic providing low to no cost spay and neuter for pets in rural areas. By deploying this team all across the state, we're able to meet with those shelters and see what it is that they need to be able to make those programs work. They say most importantly, the initiative will support families who want to keep their pets but can't afford it. <laughs> and by bringing shelters across the state together, they're hoping to end euthanasia in Georgia for good. Well, we have to. We don't have pets without people, so the people need to help the pets. Reporting in Buford, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News. So another big part of this effort is pushing the idea of adopt, don't shop. So Better Together Georgia's research shows that if just 6% more people adopted animals from the shelter instead of buying them from breeders, the animal overpopulation problem in Georgia would be solved.